This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello, my name is Kay. I'm a professional home organizer and soprano here in the Boston area. And I'm here to inspire you to live a more organized life. So every now and again, I get requests for a what I eat in a week or what I eat in a day video. Um, and it didn't seem to be <laughs> quite the right fit for my channel, but now that we're home, a lot more often than what used to be. Like it's late July where I am, but my husband and I still aren't really going to restaurants to eat. We're still not like getting a lot of takeout um, because of the current situation. We're eating most of our meals at home. So I'll tell you about how we organize our meal plans and what we eat during the week so that we're not starving and to keep things pretty interesting. I know that meal planning is a process that intimidates a lot of people, but once you get into the habit of doing it, it becomes really simple and you can make really interesting things at home. Since we're eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner at home, we have to keep it really interesting because otherwise we'll just keep eating the same thing over and over again and it's really boring. So I'll tell you how we plan and I'll show you what we made for the week. Before we get started, I'd love to give a big shout out to my sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, baking, and more. Skillshare offers classes designed for real life so you can move your creative journey forward without putting your life on hold. A class I'm enjoying right now and would set me up for success for the week was this easy and versatile baking the one yeast dough you need to know because as a cook, I love to cook and be random, but baking was really intimidating to me. I've never been taught to bake. I didn't know how to handle dough, but this class set me up for success, so I have some fun things to show you later in the video. If you need to see something over again, you can just rewind it and watch it over again. I love watching classes on Skillshare. It's also super affordable, especially when compared to in-person classes, which no one is going to right now. An annual subscription is less than 10 bucks a month, and the first 1,000 people to join using the link in the description we'll get two months of a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and supporting creative entrepreneurs everywhere. You guys know I love Skillshare and so I'm super excited that they're sponsoring this video. They have been so good to me over the past like six months. I just love them and I love learning things. So let's get into the meal planning. So usually at the beginning of the week, usually on Sunday night, my husband and I get together and we talk about what we want to eat that week. We talk about if we've had any ideas about what we want to have, because you know, sometimes you're feeling more like one meal than the other. We've been trying to do Taco Tuesdays every Tuesday. That's been really fun. A long time ago, I grabbed one of these Feed Me meal planning sheets. It's like a pack, a packet of sheets. And I didn't use it very much because I've mostly been using just my phone. But um, these have been really helpful because we're eating more than just dinners at home. Because when we're eating just dinners at home, I could do everything like, you know, on my phone. But since I needed to like brainstorm and write things down, uh, this has been really helpful because it, I'm, we're planning both um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So we, we need lots of space for ideas. So it has, one side has a grocery list and one side has a meal plan. So my husband and I will brainstorm with each other about what we feel like eating. Sometimes um, he'll ask me to wake, make one of my own recipes, um, to which I only have a few. I don't really have that many original recipes of mine, uh, but I have a few and every now and again, he'll be like, oh, can you make your chili? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I can make my chili. Um, but most of the time we use meal planning apps or we use recipes from um, meal boxes that we've had. We like to experiment with the meals from the boxes that they, people send to you, you know, like services like Blue, Blue Apron, Home Chef, Green Chef, those kinds of services. If we really liked a particular meal from one of those boxes, we'll keep the recipe and grab ingredients from that meal to recreate that meal. It costs a little bit more than buying it from the, the box, but we still like to have, you know, the same thing over again anyway, it even costs a little more. Um, so we wrote all of our ideas down and um, we filled out all of these things with the exception of breakfast. We kind of just decided that we would figure that out for ourselves because some mornings we want eggs and some mornings, you know, my husband wants a bagel instead of eggs. So we're pretty much on our own for breakfast and kind of lunch, but for dinners, we usually get together and make that together. So we want it to be something we both enjoy. So we don't necessarily stick with this list 100% all the time, but we are pretty faithful to it like 90%. So, um, and then on the right side, we put a little, you know, extra things we needed to buy 
for the meals. And then my husband has a shopping list that he keeps on his phone and he basically places an order and we get a grocery delivery and we get through our week with tasty stuff. And I did something really exciting this week with the help of a Skillshare class. So I'm excited for you guys to see but um, so I'll, I'll show you how we got through our week with eating. Here we go. Lately, I've been trying to use up our leftovers and we had this one leak just hanging around our apartment for like, I think like three weeks. I mean, they last a while, but some of the outside um, layers were a little bit gross, but the inside looked really beautiful and fresh. So I decided to slice it up and uh, leeks are one of the dirtiest vegetables, if you guys don't know. <laughs> they're in the same family as onions and garlic, um, so they have basically the same structure, but they're super, 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 super dirty. So you gotta wash it, then you, after you cut it, you're probably good washing it again. <laughs> Otherwise, you will get a mouthful of sand if you do not do this. Trust me, if you've never cooked a leek before, they are dirty. They are really dirty. I sauteed them up in some butter. Yes, I'm being indulgent with myself this week in sauteing in butter instead of olive oil. And I had some leftover sweet potato that I just decided to make into a hash. It was um, leftover shredded sweet potato that I used for a, a, like a pizza. And here is my hash and I have one poached egg because I wasn't super hungry. I didn't wanna fill my belly too much but I had my egg over my sweet potato hash with leeks and it was so delicious. Mm, mm, mm. If you've ever opened a pomegranate in your entire life, you know that the struggle is definitely real when it comes to taking the seeds out and separating them from the membrane. But I've discovered a method that works really well. You just segment it into six portions and then you just take the seeds out underwater and they come free. The membrane will float while the seeds will sink to the bottom, I think. So um, anyway, I did this with one whole pomegranate and one whole pomegranate will last me for week um, for snacks and stuff because it's a really delicious fruit even though it's a pain in the butt to process and get at the lovely things that you are allowed to eat the little jewels there they are um, we were going to use it in a beautiful cucumber and feta salad with pomegranates and like a lovely light lemon lemon vinaigrette dressing that I was going to make for it so I was very excited to have the rest of the pomegranate for the rest of the week because I just love to eat it for snacks and breakfast sometimes because it's just it's it's good y'all pomegranates are so good anyway I cut up some cucumbers and every time I'm cutting things at the counter somebody gets up from his seat or gets out from another room and comes over and checks it out. Actually, I see him right now. He's coming over. It is the Clover Dog. There he is. He was like, I need my cucumber. Give me my piece of cucumber now. So he always gets one or two pieces of cucumber. Yes, he's spoiled and he's trained to come over when I'm cutting things, but I'm, you know, it's a healthy treat. <laughs> he also likes, uh, you know, he likes all the vegetables, but he, he loves cucumber um, probably the most, and also carrots. He loves he loves carrots. <laughs> anyway, I stuck my um, a cup of my pomegranates in with my cucumber salad, and I had some fresh mint growing on my patio. You guys, I'm so excited to have my herb garden because no longer do we have to buy herbs from the grocery store. We just pluck them from the garden, and we use them in salad and in all in our meals. And it's just it's just such a wholesome thing to grab your own herbs. I love it. So I just packed up the rest of the pomegranate seeds for the rest of the week. Couldn't resist eating a few, um, but made my lemon vinaigrette with some lemon and olive oil and salt and pepper and put it on the salad. And then we were going to have our delicious salad lunch. It was very, very tasty. We had planned to have salmon burgers for dinner, but I woke up in the middle of the night the night before and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot to buy buns. What am I gonna do? I don't wanna go to the store to buy buns. I'm going to learn how to make my own burger buns. 
And you know what? I did. It was scary. It was kind of an all day process. And I don't think they look like burger buns you can buy from the store, but they were good. They were a brioche recipe that I found online. I will link to it down below. Uh, the video is on the YouTubes, but I was comfortable handling yeast because of the classes I had watched because I wasn't, I, I didn't know what to expect when I added yeast to warm water. I just, I didn't know. But look at, look at them. Look at the brioche buns. Don't those look delicious? Butter, yes, butter twice. I mean, we're, we're not being, you know, super healthy here, folks. We're being indulgent because we're, in, we're quarantining and we're eating delicious homemade food. The, the difference between this and a store-bought bun is I know what's in here. You know what I mean? Anyway, don't they look delicious and they smell good. And I was, I was just, I was very impressed with myself. They, they look a little bit flat, but they worked really well as a bun. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, I was very happy with myself. And now we have the salmon burgers and I made some fries with them in the oven and that's a raw salmon burger. I had an extra salmon burger and this was a salad that was supposed to go on top of the burger and it was delicious. And for the first time I was cutting open my first like bread I've ever made. I made a, I was very impressed with myself because I was like, oh, it actually looks like bread. Hallelujah. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was so happy that they turned out well, that they were delicious. And on the on the salmon burgers, we put um, tapenade, olive tapenade, and this um, the salad. And of course, we toasted the buns. You got to toast your buns, right? And we had our first dinner with our, of course, we have red wine every night with dinner. That is just something we do. So you're going to see it in every dinner picture. Don't judge. We like we like to have a little red wine with dinner. It's a tradition. <laughs> So here is the finished salmon burger and fries. It was so delicious and worth all of the extra effort. The next morning I had a repeat of my egg and hash. Uh, I'm boring because I like to have the same thing over again if I can. And in the afternoon, guess who got his own lettuce leaf? It's Clover James. Whenever this salad spinner goes starts going crazy, he runs and he's like, what's in the salad spinner? Can I have one? For lunch, I had a leftover salmon burger and some salad, and then we moved on to dinner. And if you're wondering what meal planning app I use, I use Meal Lime. I talk about this all the time. It is my favorite meal planning app of all time. It is free, but you can pay for a pro uh, account, which gives you access to your favorites and uh, the ability to save stuff. Or, but it's uh, it's worth the money to me. This is what we're having this week as I'm making this video, and I'm looking forward to it. Meal Lime, I mean not sponsored but it's is good it's really good so we had our taco tuesday but we had tacos with lettuce wraps as lettuce wraps instead of you know tortillas so but they were delicious and in the next morning i was boring and i had pomegranate seeds for breakfast because that's what i was in the mood for i wasn't in the mood to like make anything super savory or rich i just wanted pomegranate seeds for lunch I had tuna on one of my brioche buns. <laughs> I did some of the um, Katamata olive spread, put my beautiful tuna salad on there. I am a genius at making tuna salad, I have to say. I love tuna salad, you guys. It's one of my favorite things. And I had a little salad on the side with some fennel in it. I recently discovered how delicious fresh fennel is. OMG, I could eat it all day. It's so good. Um, I'm gonna try it uh, roasted too. And for dinner, we had one of our favorite meal lime things. This is the, we call it the jalapeno egg thing, but <laughs> it's like jalapeno with eggs and mozzarella cheese and black beans and tomato sauce and tomatoes and cilantro on top. This is what it looks like. This is so bomb. This is one of our favorite meals. It's so good so good I want to have it right now I'm so hungry looking at it for breakfast again the next day I just had pomegranate seeds again how boring am I but these are so good and they're they're just so easy to eat you just spoon them 
I had another tuna sandwich. I didn't film it, but I did film the bun because I was very excited about it. <laughs> For dinner that night, we had one of our Amazon box favorites. We had salmon, uh, herb roasted salmon with um, bulgur. And this is one we discovered when we were living in the suburbs before we moved into our house. We kept the recipe card and we have these ingredients on hand and we can recreate this recipe without grabbing the Amazon box. Again, fresh herbs from the patio made our meal so much better. So we got the fresh thyme on there. I roasted it in the oven and this is how it turned out. It's delicious. And one of my favorite things to make on earth, like not even joking, it's so good. So good. If you love, if you love salmon, you have to try this. It's so good and not bad for you. Okay, the next day I skipped breakfast and I went right to lunch and I made some tuna stacks. Um, these are like sushi tuna stacks. You make it with tuna, some avocado, cucumber, jalapeno, and you know, whatever else you want. And you can put it on rice and it's kind of like a tuna sushi stack. It sounds weird, but this is, this is so good, you guys. So good. The next night we had the unstuffed cabbage rolls. These are okay. I mean, it's it's easier than making cabbage rolls, but you know, it's good. It's all right. It's filling on a weeknight, and the next day, my husband promised me that he would buy me lunch or brunch once a week. And this little cafe down the street makes these um, fried green tomato eggs Benedict with avocado on it. It's so good. Um, so I asked him to buy me this and I ate it all up after our dog walk. And to round out the week, we did have my homemade black bean soup. This is something I love to make. I will put the recipe online for you. Okay guys, so I hope this gave you some ideas about how to meal plan for your week, especially if you're still staying at home like I am. Let me know if you want to try any of these recipes. I will try to put them on my website uh, down below so that you guys can try some of these at home with your family. Let me know if you like them. If you guys like this video, but give it a big thumbs up. I hope you're having a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Make some yummy food.